Okay. Now look at these questions. All right. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Conical pendulum. Figure shows a conical pendulum with a bob of mass 80 kilogram. Okay, we have the mass already. This is the mass. On the 10 meter long, this is the length, L. Uh, 10 meter long string making an angle of uh, 5 degree. Okay. Um, making an angle 5 degree. Uh, this is the theta. Okay, uh, theta actually uh, somewhere technical problem. Then this is the theta actually. Yeah, to the vertical. Calculate the tension in the string. Okay, uh, first of all, let us draw the free boy diagram on the ball itself. Yeah. So okay, uh, this is the ball and this is the string attached to a. This should be a ceiling. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we label as a point mass, the ball as a point mass. So what forces exerted on the ball? Of course, the string. The string is pulling on the ball. The string is pulling on the ball. So this is the tension. Uh, the string is pulling on the ball. Secondly, uh, its own weight, mg. Uh, the own weight of the ball, mg. Uh, what other forces? No more. It's not, it, it's not in contact with any surface. Not in contact with any surface. So just the string have tension and its own weight, mg. Okay? Uh, and then we need to draw the x and y axis. Uh, this is a circular mo This is a circle it makes. Yeah? You can imagine this this uh this uh what is it it's a box okay a box a mess a box mess yeah it make a circle like that so it become a conical pendulum okay so it make a conical pendulum so if you can imagine like if the ball is over here oops if the ball is over here uh, it become like that yeah so at that case uh then the tension will be this way the tension will be over here, the mg is over here. Okay? Uh, so, depend on where is the ball. So, you can, you can say this is the center. Uh, this is the center of circle. And let's draw the x and y axis. Uh, maybe you can draw the x axis, this here. This is the x axis. And this is the y axis. Uh, okay? This is the y axis. If the ball at the right hand side, okay, look at here. If the ball is at the right hand side, where is the centripetal acceleration direction? Centripetal acceleration. Towards the center of circle, but the center of circle is at the left hand side, uh, left hand side of the ball. So the centripetal acceleration should actually uh, to the left. Centripetal acceleration is to the left of the ball. So it's a uh, Positive here and positive follow the acceleration. Okay, positive follow acceleration, negative opposite the acceleration. Follow this Newton second law. Follow acceleration, positive force, opposite is negative force. Okay. Uh, so uh, if the ball is at the left hand side, then the centripetal acceleration will be in the opposite direction. Uh, but also towards the center of circle. Uh, our centripetal acceleration is towards the center of circle. It's always, you see, the centripetal acceleration always towards the center of circle. If the ball at the left hand side, the centripetal acceleration also towards the center of circle. Also towards the center of circle. Uh, but over here is to the to the right. Uh, here is to the left. See? And also here we, we put positive sign follow the acceleration. Positive sign follow acceleration. Opposite sign if negative if opposite the acceleration. Okay? Uh, but uh, now we are using we are using this part lah. Uh, we are using uh, now we are using uh, this part okay uh, we are not using that part okay we are using this part okay so uh, okay so what other uh, what other things we can label there 
Ah, you see that? This length, he said this length 10 meter. Where is this 10 meter? 10 meter is from the top, the ceiling here, to the board. Ah, this is the length of the string. Okay? Let us label. Ah, this is the length of the string, which is 10 meter. However, this length is not the radius. Ah, this length is not radius. Ah, for this case, the length of the string is not the radius. The radius of circle is actually this part. Ah, this part is the radius. Ah, or over here, you see that? Ah, this is the radius of circle. It's not the length. So you need to find the R here. Okay, how to find the R here? So we can use uh, trigonometry. Okay, trigonometry. We need the angle theta here. Yeah, this angle theta. The theta is actually this one. Okay, so this theta is actually the alternate angle. Alternate angle to this angle. Uh, over here. Uh, the angle theta here. This angle, angle is the same as this angle because they are alternate angle. Okay, they are the alternate angle. And the angle is 5 degree. So we can actually find the we can actually resolve the force tension uh, x component and y component uh, and also the length we also can resolve into we can resolve into the uh, x component also yeah uh, so this is actually the opposite uh, r is actually opposite the theta so we use sine theta uh, l sine theta to find Okay, never mind. So, we know how to do it already. Yeah? We almost know how to do it. But now, uh, let's do one by one. Yeah? Let's find the tension first. Huh? I think the first step, you need to find radius. Because we need the radius to calculate the, the cent, uh, centripetal acceleration. Isn't it? Uh, because our formula for AC. Let's find out the AC. I think the AC is the most important first. AC is V squared over R. Yeah? The formula or r omega square or v omega okay uh, so um okay so i think uh so uh, let's find the radius huh? i think radius is very much needed let's find the radius first so how to find the radius the length is given uh this theta is five degree so how so how uh how, so how to find the radius uh, yeah, I uh, don't look at the left hand side. Yeah, uh. our ball now is at the right hand side. Okay, maybe I just uh, rub off this one, this part. Okay, I just rub off because we are not considering that one. Uh, okay, um, yeah, delete that part. Okay, now our focus is just this one. So, what is this radius? Okay, how to find the radius? Remember, this is a right angle triangle. We see that. This is a right angle triangle. Uh, so we can say it is like it is like a right angle triangle. And this is the theta. This is the length. What is the r here? What is the r here? Ah, very simple, isn't it? So we can find the r here by using what? Uh, we know that. We know what we know what? We know uh sine theta is actually opposite over sine theta is opposite over uh, hypotenuse uh, L is actually the hypotenuse uh, R is the opposite uh, okay uh, so we can actually say R is actually L sine theta uh, L multiplied above so L sine theta R is L sine theta okay uh, so uh, yeah, R is the opposite to the angle yeah, R is opposite to the angle. That's why you use sine theta. Uh, so, let's uh, put inside the value. Uh, what do we have for L? L is uh, 10 meter. Okay, L is 10 meter. Theta is 5 degree. Uh, so, let's calculate. Yeah, R is... Uh, L is 10 meter. L is 10 meter. Sine 5 degree. And remember, the length is not R. Uh, radius. Uh. Uh. So, okay, let's calculate. I think just leave it like that. Yeah? I think just leave it like that first. Okay. No need to calculate the value because we want to maintain accuracy. Okay. Do we have the V? Is the V provided? Is the speed provided? No, the speed is not provided. Just the mass. 
the length, the angle. Okay, the problems here. We don't have the V, we, so we cannot find AC. We only can find the R. So how to find? So it's not the this way already. Yeah, we can see that uh, the we cannot work from centripetal acceleration. And actually, the centripetal acceleration is actually at the bottom of the question. You see that? Uh, so, it seems that we need to do other things first. We need to do other things first before we can find the value of centripetal acceleration. So, centripetal acceleration is not the first thing we can find first. It's not the first thing. Because V is not provided. You see? V is not provided. So, we leave that for further discussion. Yeah, we leave this one for further discussion. Okay, so we need to do somewhere else. Yeah, we already got the R. Huh? But a bit later let's look at what we can do uh, need to find the tension first so how to find the tension how to find the tension so first of all i think you need to do i think you can do what resolve the tension into x and y component okay let's resolve first into x and y component uh, so okay what's the uh, so the you see this uh this y uh it can resolve into a, the x and y component uh so what's the what's the what's the y component uh y component is adjacent to angle theta isn't it uh so that is the t cos theta okay uh because this uh, y component is adjacent to theta to adjacent to angle so it's t cos theta and then the x component is uh, opposite, yeah, actually it's opposite to the angle theta, so it is uh, T sine theta. Uh, can you see that? Okay, I make it bigger, yeah. The Y component is adjacent to angle theta, so that's why it's T cos theta, and then the S component is actually opposite, opposite, yeah. Is opposite to the angle theta, so it's T sine theta. You see that? T sine theta. Ah, so we already resolved the force. Now, uh, how can we find the tension? First of all, we need to find tension. How to find the tension? If we look at X component, uh, we will need to find the centripetal acceleration, but we cannot find the centripetal acceleration because we don't have the V. So we cannot do X component first. We can actually do the Y component. Ah, Y component. Yeah. Maybe, okay, maybe let us list out Y component can uh, get us the tension. But however, let us uh, list out uh, what we can do. Okay. Um, we do both component. We do X and Y component. And let's look what, uh, how, which component can get us the tension. All right. Okay. Now, we have two components here, X and Y components. S component has acceleration. Do you see that? Okay, look at this one. Uh, so look at the centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is in the S component. So the S component has the acceleration. So uh, we apply Newton's second law for the X component. Okay, uh, so for okay. So for S component has the resultant force, okay? S component has the resultant force because it has acceleration. Uh, so total Fx is equal to Ma. Why equal to Ma? Because it has the resultant force. Uh, and it is Mac. Uh, the centripetal force is inside the X component. Uh, okay, whereas the Y component, look at the Y component, it has no acceleration. Uh, no acceleration uh, no acceleration acceleration is in the x component in the y component no acceleration so that y component is equilibrium uh, y component there's no resultant force no resultant force so total fy is zero uh, because y component no acceleration so resultant F, fy is equal to zero no resultant force in the y component Okay, now let us build equation for X and Y. For X, for X component, uh, it has what force? It has the T sine theta. Uh, T sine theta and no more. That's only the force. T sine theta, this T sine theta is positive. Uh, yeah? Because why? 
Why P sine theta is positive? Because it, it follows the direction of acceleration. Uh, this T sine theta, uh, this acceleration is to the left, to the left. T sine theta also to the left. Uh, same direction with acceleration. Remember? Follow acceleration is a positive force. Uh, follow use the, using the Newton's second law sign convention. Yeah? Follow acceleration is positive force. So this T sine theta, same direction with acceleration. So T sine theta is a positive force. Okay, so write that T sine theta. Okay. Uh, what else? Normal force. That's all, yeah? Okay, this one equal to M A C. Ah, uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, this this one is actually the you know this is actually the this T sine theta is actually the uh, centripetal force. You know that T sine theta is actually the centripetal force. Uh, okay. So um, okay, that's all. Yeah. Uh, we can put in the value theta there. Let's put in the value tension uh, sine five degree. Yeah. Equal to what is the mass? Mass is eighty. Uh, AC. We don't have AC. Never mind. Let's do the Y component. Okay. I think I want to make a divider here. Right. Okay. Let's continue. Y component. Y component. Uh, what force do we have in the Y component? We have T cos theta and mg. Uh, so, no acceleration. If no acceleration, we just put go, forces going up is positive, forces going down is negative. Um, we just put uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, if no acceleration to compare, if no acceleration to compare, like the S component, uh, if no acceleration, we just go take going up positive, going down negative. That's all. Yeah. So T cos theta is positive. T cos theta is positive. And mg is negative because downward. Yeah. Negative mg. Okay. So we have a T cos theta uh, equal to mg. Uh, yeah. Going to the other side. So from here, uh, put in the value. Uh, theta is 5 degree. Cosine 5 degree. And mg, m is 80. 80. And then times gravity. Ah, so from here we can find tension from the y component. You see that? So my tension is equal to, uh, let's calculate, yeah? 80 times 9.81 uh, divided by cosine 5. Okay? So. Uh, it is 787.80 uh, Newton. So we got the tension already. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. The answer is correct. Okay. Next, we got the tension. We can put into the y x component here. Uh, so we already solved just now. This is for question A. Uh, we call question A. Now we can solve in, put into this. Uh, this formula, the tension, we can make use to here. So uh, now this one uh, becomes seven eight seven point eight zero, and then uh, sine five degree equal to eighty. Uh, AC is uh, okay. Uh, AC. Uh, let's find out the AC. Okay. So what's the AC? Uh, AC is equal to okay. Let's calculate, yeah. Uh, multiply sine five, uh, divide by eighty. Okay, I got ah uh, zero point eight six. Uh, is zero point eight six meter per second square. Ah, uh, that's the answer. Oh, that's for D. <laughs> we got D first, yeah. We we got D first before we even got B. Ah, uh, zero point eight six. That's the AC. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, zero point yeah zero point eight six d. That's question. That's for centripetal acceleration. You got it. Almost, almost correct. Yeah. Zero point eight five. Now find the speed. How to find the speed? Uh, how to find the speed? So let's do for question B now. Uh, let's do for question B speed. We just use the formula. Ah, uh, uh, this formula. Uh, just now we got this formula, isn't it? Uh, question B. We already got the AC. Now we just find the V. So uh, this is uh, 0 0.86. Okay. 
uh, 0 0.86 equal to v square over r r is uh, just now r is 10 sine 5 degree isn't it 10 sine 5 degree so let's find out the v let's find out the v okay so the answer is um, uh, okay so the answer is the v is 0 0.8 uh, 7 0 0.87 meter per second is the answer correct 0 0.87 okay uh, it's almost uh, almost there okay uh, the speed is uh, 0 0.86 0 0.87 almost correct yeah uh, so it's correct okay we got the speed now to find the period how to find the period what it, what um, what formula we have to find period Ah, we know that. We know we can find V equal to R omega. We have the formula V equal to R omega, isn't it? Ah, we have the formula V equal to R omega. Uh, v equal to R omega. So, and then we also know that omega is 2 pi over period. Ah, 2 pi over period. Ah, that's, we, that's how we can find the, omega, the period. Okay? So, just substitute, substitute. And V is r times the omega is 2 pi over period and v is actually 2 pi r over period aha uh -huh. so we we can find a v finally and uh, no we can find a period uh, so our v is actually 0 0.87 our v is actually 0 0.87 our r what is our r our r is actually 10 sine 5 degree let's put in the 10 sine 5 degree uh, 10 sine 5 degree and period uh, what's our period let's find out let's calculate ah i got my period equal to uh, 6.30 6.30 is it no 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 it's actually 6.29 uh, 6.29 uh, second uh, period is a time so it's second so is it correct let's find out uh, a little bit different why is it different because I didn't I think my one is more accurate my one is more accurate why because I'm I never I maintain the radius in the original form I didn't um, round up the value I didn't round out the value okay uh, and then all more accurate so my all right okay uh, my one I think my one more accurate why because I maintain the radius all in the original form I didn't round up all value so I try to maintain as accurate as possible and that's the answer I get okay uh, all right so uh, that's the answer, okay, enjoy.